Hey, do you dream of selling your own Notion templates but you don't want to create them from scratch? Maybe you don't have the time or you don't have the skills. So in this video, I'm going to share with you two options and how you can get this done very quickly and have fun with it. So if you don't know me, my name is Leticia. I've been selling Notion templates for just over a year now. I sold over 2000 templates on my first year whilst working full time in a hospital and now I help creators just like you to sell their own Notion templates and have fun with it and make money with it. So first of all, why should you even consider start selling Notion templates? So first of all, let's have a look on the data. Um, so as you can see, I'm using eRank. Uh, there you can find products that are trending on Etsy and you can see how many people are actually looking for this product and we can see the competition. So don't get overwhelmed with all this information. What we need to look at here is only like average searches. That means um, how many searches this product is getting per month. So as you can see here, we have over 13,000 uh, searches every month on Etsy, which means like people are going on Etsy and looking for Notion templates. And the competition, it is still nice and green. Uh, you don't want to get products that the competition is very high and the, the searches are low uh, because it's going to be very hard to be found on search and hard for you to make sales. So that's just the data to support us. And if you are seeing this video uh, before 2024, we can see here we had a massive um bump like of so many searches in january and december which are like the best times to sell notion templates so if you are watching this video is still in 2023 make sure you start as soon as you can so you can uh take advantage of the next thing you need is of course a notion template so this is a notion template that i have i don't sell this notion template this is a, just a plr uh, template that I'm creating to give to my customers so they don't need to create everything from scratch and if you want to join um, the PLR template uh, kit I have a waitlist this is a product that I'm still building and I'm gonna be releasing this on the 6th of November so if you're watching this video before the 6th of November of 2023 make sure you join the waitlist uh, because you're gonna get a special discount and you can get access to it early. If you don't want to start from scratch, you have two options. You can either use a Notion template that you already have. Maybe you have a productivity system, you have a social media manager, planner, something like that. Anything that you already have and use it for yourself, you can get this template ready to sell. Or you can use a PLR Notion template, which means that they are, it's a notion template but you have the right to sell that template as your own the plr templates that i'm giving uh, in this kit they have to be customized you can't sell them just as they are you have to uh, change the cover you have to create your own branding uh, change the fonts change the icons but you can get this done in a few hours uh, probably probably less so yeah, and it's super fun. I think it's my it's my favorite part uh, of selling Notion templates, creating like brands and different styles, and every template is gonna look completely different. And that that's how you stand up as well in the market. So let's say you are already have your Notion template, either your own template or a PLR. What you need to do to share this template to your customer. Um, you need to get the link so you need to come in the share button publish and this is the link that you need to share with your customer so they'll be able to access the template duplicate it and use it that's the link that you need to give it to you have this link you need to share with your customer but most platforms they ask you to give a digital download in a pdf format this is for etsy gumroad and many other uh, marketplaces you need a pdf file so to link your notion template 
into the PDF file, you need to create a just a page uh, as I created here and you are going to create a text um, template link and once you create this text and you are going to link and you need to paste the link that we just got from the template um, so this is hyperlinked you can also add the link here I also like to add into the Mac as well and then you just press enter. You want to customize this with your fonts, with your colors, um, and add your own touch to it, but there's um, a guide ready for you. Just need to customize it and add the picture of your own template. Add the picture, I drag it to this um, Canva mockup. Let's say you finish. You are going to download and save that as a PDF. It has to be a PDF because otherwise the link is not going to work. So make sure that's a PDF. If you want to save the two pages, you save two pages, I'm just gonna save one. So you just need to double check the link if everything is working fine. So for example, I'm just gonna click on it and you just want to see if you are able to duplicate it. So if you're able to duplicate it, that means the link is working. So that's what your customer is going to get. So that's all. The next step to launch a Notion template, you, it's creating product listing images. These are the images that you are going to use to upload maybe to a marketplace like Etsy or Gumroad or any other marketplace. Or if you are using to promote on your Instagram or any social media platform, you can use these images as well. So when you are creating your images, this is very, very important because when you are selling the digital product, the customer, they, they don't know what they are getting. So you need to show them exactly what they are getting. Don't tell, just show them exactly what they're getting, what's included, try to answer your customers questions um, in your images so on Etsy you can use 10 images so make sure you use all of them and show the features show the benefits of your template show how this template is going to make their lives easier how it's going to save them time show them uh, maybe have a page just for the features and things like that so here I just created a an example and all you have to do is just drag uh, your template page to the to the mock-up so in Canva they have a lot of mock-ups that you can do that but this is just an example as I said so you need to customize the name uh, the benefit of your template so this is an image that you would use on Etsy as your thumbnail and you need to find ways um, that's where you are going to need your creativity to make your products your thumbnail pop and stand out so people get people will be like interested to go and click on it and possibly buy from you uh, this is very very important uh, especially the first image that you use so when you finish your Etsy or your product image listings you are going to save this as a PNG uh, or JPEG it doesn't matter you can use JPEG or you can use PNG so I normally use as PNG and then you're gonna download and save that to a After folder. After you already done your template, your images and your PDF guide, it's time for us to write your description and your title if you are listing that on Etsy. If you are not doing that, you can skip this step and just use uh, the PDF guide whenever wherever you are selling your template but if you are using Etsy specifically this is the process that I follow most of the times I use chat DPT to help me to write this, these descriptions because this is something that I least enjoy doing and I hate watching like a blank page and having to start everything from scratch um, so I just give at ChatGPT some information about my template. So if you see here, 
this is the prompt that I used. Uh, it's very simple, but the more information you add about your template, just add all the sections you have, all the features, who's this template for, why you created this template, why is it different, why do why should they buy from you? The more information you add, the more these descriptions going to be. Um, and on Etsy, you have to think about the SEO. So that is, you make you need to make sure basically you use keywords that are going to help you to be found. So I asked uh, Shadi PT. This is a calm, um, this is a calm agenda, all in one. I use neutral colors. This template includes a goal setting, finance tracking, habit tracking, travel planner, meal planning, so much more. And I asked for a description um, for my Etsy listing. And it gave me quite good description. I don't use everything 100%. I just get an idea. And um, I customize to my to the way that it fits my shop the best and then I just ask again once I'm like 80% happy with it I ask again to chat dpt to optimize the description for SEO and you want to also use a title um, title is very very important especially the first key phrase for example this first key phrase here um, you need to make sure you use words that people are actually typing on the search bar chat tpt gave me this but i wouldn't use this instead i would probably do notion template for adhd with a goal setting finance habit track uh, travel meal planning I would include that because I believe no one is going to be on Etsy actually looking for a calm agenda. Uh, they're going to type Notion template for something. Um, so you need to make sure this is clear, um, all the benefits, and if you offer any bonus, you make sure you add that as well. And after you're happy with it, uh, we're going to start listing this so template. Now we are going to actually add your new listing. So I am in the shop manager of Etsy. This is just an account that I created to do these tutorials. Um, and I don't like to share my Etsy shop here because um, I already have my website. So I'm not driving traffic to Etsy. Um, but yeah, so to add your listing, have an Etsy account. It's very easy to create and you, on your shop manager section, you're going to have this uh, listing uh, section and you're going to click on it. Then you're going to add listing. This is where you are going to choose digital files because this is a digital product uh, and fill these things out. Next. So now it's where you are going to add your title. So I would I would recommend you use all the characters so it gives you 140 characters that you can use so make sure you use all of them if you can. Uh, after that you're going to add your images. So I'm just going to add two images here just for the sake of example. So that's that's going to be your thumbnail and make sure you add as many images as you can showing exactly what your template is, uh, showing the benefits, showing the highlights and all the things. And this is going to be the thumbnail when you see here primary. You can also add alt text to describe this image. Um, and you can do that for all images. Uh, you can also adjust the thumbnail. So that's the exact image that it's going to show up in search, uh, in the search bar. So you can adjust, you can, you know, do whatever you think is going to look the best. And after you've done that, you close this. Oh, you actually have to apply here. Uh, you can also add a 50 second video, which I highly recommend. That's your thumbnail. And this is where 
you are going to add the digital guide that we created um, early on. So it can give you this error if you're using, I think it's because I'm using brackets. So let's try again. So as you can see, it uploaded. So I'm just gonna add that and organize information so you don't, I don't like, you can also use um, bullet points to, to make it like more digestible and organize everything just so it looks good. So you can use emojis as well if that's on your branding. Um, and here's where you are going to add the price. So let's say it's 10. Uh, quantity, I always add 999 because it's a digital product. And you can also add a category. So the category that I use is templates. Um, so you can see which uh, category fits your template best. Um, I like to use this one. And just fill out these details. The primary color is white and secondary color is green. If there is an occasion for it as well, you can add it. Uh, if you're adding like a wedding planner or something uh, like that. And the tags, you can add up to 13 tags. Uh, so what I like to do, I like to use the same, same or very similar tags that I used in the title. But you want to make sure you use all of 13, uh, all of the options and I'm just not gonna do everything here because there's no point, I'm not gonna use this. Um, you can also add a section on your shop. So let's say you sell different types of Notion templates, maybe templates for finance planning and for students. So instead of creating different shops, you can create different sections. So that helps your um, customer find whatever they are looking for. And you can feature the listing, so it's gonna show, uh, it's gonna be on the top of your shop. Um, and this is like renewal options, you can set that manual. So basically like every four months, uh, you have to pay again this uh, 20 cents fee to relist your, your product. Um, so you can do that automatically or you can do that manually. Uh, so this is up to you. I leave that out automatic and then you're gonna just hit publish So you created your template you have your template ready to sell so now you need to promote this template So maybe you can use Pinterest you can use your social media your email newsletter uh, you have to share your template with the world. So if you want to sell your Notion templates but you don't want to start from scratch and you want the PLR template kit with all these uh, templates, make sure you join the waitlist in my bio, in my description, sorry, it's gonna be in my description. You can join the waitlist and after the 6th of November is going to be available to purchase so you can uh, get it at any time. If you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments. I answer all the comments or you can also send me a DM on my Instagram. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like below and share with someone that you know wants to sell Notion templates and don't know where to start. Um, and yeah, have a lovely day.